my great love for Jesus. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum? Yeah, that's right. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you. Don't be surprised. This was the very greeting that Jesus used to address his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Peace be with you. Now, as they said these things, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. Whenever you go into a house, first say, Peace be with this house. Come, let me show you the mosque and how Muslims pray. Okay. You shall also make a laver of bronze, with its base also of bronze, for washing. You shall put it between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet in water from it. When they go into the tabernacle of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister, to burn an offering made by fire to the Lord, they shall wash with water, lest they die. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, lest they die. And it shall be a statute forever to them, to him and his descendants throughout their generations. Then Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. Moses and Aaron moved away from the people and stood at the entrance of the tent. They bowed down with their faces to the ground, and the dazzling light of the Lord's presence appeared to them. Then Job got up and tore his robe. He shaved his head and then he threw himself down with his face to the ground. He said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will return there. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. May the name of the Lord be blessed. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. We also find that Jesus went on a little farther and bowed his face to the ground.
thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. Psalms 63, 4 And Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. Then all the people answered, Amen, Amen. Nehemiah 8, 6 Come, let's continue our discussion over lunch. Okay. Hi, can I take your order? Can we have uh, some, uh, your uh, best dish? What do you offer as your best dish? Okay. Do you have pork? No, sorry, I don't eat uh, pork because it's forbidden in Islam. Also, the swine is unclean for you because it has cloven hooves, yet does not chew the cud. You shall not eat that flesh or touch the dead carcasses. Actually, I don't eat the meat of animals that haven't been killed in accordance with Islamic law. You shall not eat anything that dies of itself. Only you shall not eat the blood. You shall not eat any meat with the blood still in it. Would you like to have some beers? I don't drink alcohol because it's forbidden in Islam also. Okay, no problem. Woe to those who rise early in the morning, that they may follow intoxicating drink who continue until night, till wine inflames them. The harp and the strings, the tambourine and flute, and wine are in their feasts, but they do not regard the work of the Lord, nor consider the operation of his hands. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Those who linger long at the wine, those who go in search of mixed wine. Woe to men mighty at drinking wine. Woe to men valiant for mixing intoxicating drink. Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is a brawler. And whoever is led astray by it is not wise. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries. Those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do you know something about the Muslims fasting? Muslims abstain from food and drink from dawn to sunset. And they mourned and wept and fasted until evening. Then I set my face toward the Lord God to make requests by prayer and supplications, with fasting, sackcloth, and ashes. Now, therefore, says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and fasted seven days. David therefore pleaded with God for the child, and David fasted, and they ministered to the Lord and fasted. Then, Having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. We Christians, we eat and drink when we fast. Oh, but the Bible says something different. Go, gather all the Jews who are present in Shusan and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise, and so I will go to the king, which is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. Then they said to him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise those of the Pharisees? But yours eat and drink. 
apart from the obligatory fast of the month of Ramadan, there is voluntary fasting, like fasting twice a week. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. This is my friend Yahya, which is John in Arabic. Nice to meet you. Don't be surprised. Muslims love all God's prophets, respect them and hold them in high regard. That's why we often name our children after them. What's the girl's name? And her name is Maryam, which is Arabic for Mary. Mary is the only female name mentioned in the Qur'an. In addition, the Qur'an states that Mary was chosen above all women of her time. But we do not use the name Muhammad. Shall we meet tomorrow, inshallah? Inshallah means God willing. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's throw. And he knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. So Rebecca covered her face with her veil. So she took off her widow's clothes, veiled her face, covered herself, and sat at the entrance to Enam. You have dove's eyes behind your veil. Like a piece of pomegranate are your temples behind your veil. But those wicked men commanded that her face should be uncovered.
Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine. Sit down. What about Jesus? Oh, Jesus? I love Jesus dearly, and so do all Muslims. If what you said is true, then you cannot possibly love him more than I do. No one loves Jesus more than I do. Believe me, Muslims truly love Jesus more than others do. Okay, okay. Let the Bible be your judge. If you don't mind. Read. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 15. Jesus tells us about his teachings and informs us in essence that they are the same as the teachings that were revealed by God to the prophets before him. In the Bible we read, Then one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. So the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you have spoken the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but he, and to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now, when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. But after that, no one dared question him. It is clear that Jesus, peace be upon him, believed in and confirmed the statement in Deuteronomy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Thus declaring the oneness of God and worshipping Him alone is the most important of God's Ten Commandments. Read on. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. So I hope you will consider everything that we talked about today and you will make the right decision. Do not cut the hair at the sides of your head or clip off the edges of your beard. One aspect of the greatness of Islam lies in, among other things, not allowing any intermediaries between God and people. Concerning forgiveness and intercession, the Bible, humans can forgive sins. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The Quran, God alone can forgive sins. And those who, if they commit a lewd act or wrong themselves, remember God and seek forgiveness for their sins. For who but God can forgive sins? and do not knowingly persist in their misdeeds. The Qur'an, chapter 3, verse 135. Islam is definitely the best religion for the poor, just as it is the best religion for the rich. Concerning wealth, the Bible, the rich will not enter the kingdom of God. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. The Quran. Seek the abode of the hereafter with what God has given you, 
without forgetting your portion of this world and do good as God has been good to you 